one issue that absorbed Batty during his last decade as Bishop of Newcastle was the proposal to establish a university in the city. As early as 1943, he had supported proposals for the creation here of a college of the University of Sydney. Becoming a leading member of the Newcastle University Establishment Group in 1950, Batty told his synod two years later that, unlike many, he was, quote, not afraid of the word culture. He said, in the course of discussions on education, I have heard the word culture ejaculated. I might say expectorated, as though it was something to be abhorred of all reasonable and practical minded men. <laughs> Batty believed the creation of a Faculty of Arts at Tyres Hill in 1954 under the control of the University of Technology was an affront to the dignity of the humanities. And Ken Dutton's biography of Orc Muti tells the story of the divisions that emerged within the university movement as a result of this decision. Batty, like fellow New Egg member Harry Eddy, held firmly to the belief that the cultivation of the mind was a good in itself, needing no justification in terms of, ex of extrinsic ends such as vocational training. An institute of technology, he argued, was the place for vocational studies and the university should, and it should be kept rigorously separate. Batty accused Professor Philip Baxter, director of the University of Technology, of being part of what he called a nefarious plot to create a multi-campus university in which the humane studies would be subordinated to technical ends. And he pledged himself to doing all he could to prevent Baxter's tawdry vision of higher education coming to fruition. I feel, he wrote to A.P. Elkin, I feel that the Philistines are upon us. Can't you rouse some university Samson from his sleep with a view to routing them? Batty attempted to fight a rearguard action by appealing to the Vice-Chancellor of Sydney University to assume responsibility for university courses in Newcastle. James Orkmuty, the High Churchman, who became Deputy Warden of the Tyers Hill College in 1954, felt that his attitude to the development of university education showed, quote, his incapacity to understand his Australian environment. And um, Orc felt, felt quite strongly about that, so much so that when he was asked to write Batty's biography in 74, he declined. 